Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindo Mbarak and I welcome you to our sixth video of learning how to create mobile applications using Flutter. I hope you've been following along from where we started in that programming language and we jumped on setting up the environment of Flutter until today where we have finished containers and text and setting up the Flutter development environment, GitHub repositories, all that. If you haven't done all that, then I really advise you to go back to a previous video and make sure that you watch them and practice at this point. But still, if you're fair in Flutter and you have basics, no problem. You can start with us from this video. So welcome back once again. And today we're going to look at uh, Flutter layouts. So previously looked at Flutter widgets, though we don't finish them, but we'll come back to them. Uh, today we're going to look at what? At Flutter layouts. So what are Flutter layout? Uh, Flutter layout, they are components that help us to organize content of our mobile application into a what? Into the okay, application. Uh, in other words, these layouts, they don't add anything to our application in the side of appearance, but all what they help is to organize the content. It is just like uh, the way you can see a table. We use a table to organize the content. It does not show anything, but it's work to organize the content. So in Flutter, we have those kind of widgets and we call them what? We call them layouts. So layouts will help us to say that this thing should be in this position, this one should be on bottom, this one should be on top, this one should be aside it. So those are what we call what? That's what, call, that's what those are what we call layouts. So in today's video, we're going to look at uh, uh, different layouts of what? Of flutter and maybe by the end of this video, uh, you should leave while uh, you already know basics or enough information about flutter layouts and you'll be able to organize your content in different positions of flutter mobile application. So with that much said, let's get started with business. So you have two types of flutter layouts. The first one is called um, single child widget or we should call single child layout. And another one is called multiple child layout. So this single child layout, uh, they, are, they, are, they will have only one widget that we call a child. And every widget will have a special layout functionality. So in other words, this uh, flutter, single, single flutter widget, I mean single child widget, it will only have a single widget called what? Called child. So it must have one widget called what? Called child. And then other properties, they be just an extra, but in a single child widget, it's a type of widget that requires only what? Only one child widget. And then we have multiple children widget or multiple child widget. Uh, these ones are the ones that require multiple what? Multiple widgets. Uh, we'll look at them. For them, they'll require more than one what? More than one widget uh, for them to be what? To start uh, uh, be, to be implemented. And we'll look at them and we'll understand uh, why we need these two different types of what? Of flutter widgets. So in single widget, uh, in single flutter widgets, there are many, but uh, the most crucial one, we have what we call padding. Uh, this padding, you ha it helps us to do what? It helps us to organize content and put some content, I mean some space around it. We have containers. We're going to look at what is meant by container. We have center. So those are the types of what? Of single child widget. So let's go ahead into application and we see how we can implement uh, the padding widget. So to do that, I'm going to come to our previous application, which is this one, and I'm going to create here another line in here in the home page, another item. And I'm going to call this item what? I'm going to call it. So I'll just copy this one and duplicate it. Okay, select it and then press Ctrl D. It will be duplicated. So I'm going to call this one padding widget or padding layout, whatever, whatever. <laughs> padding widget or padding. Okay, let's call it padding. Okay. Let us call it layout, padding layout, whatever you call it. Okay, so as we said that this padding layout, it will help us to create um, uh, content and put surround it and surround it with somewhat some space. 
So let's go ahead and create this padding layout. Uh, so I'm going to create for it another fresh screen. So to do that, I'll just simply come to our um, our uh, if you want to make this one a little bit less spaced, just put uh, dense uh, and make it true. Okay, so dense will be a little bit smaller compared to others. In fact, let us make also others to be dense because we are spending now too much space. Okay. Mm, there's no big change. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our um, padding what? Our padding screen. So to create a padding screen, I'll come here to our lib and then come to screens and then I'm going to create, uh, create another pa screen called padding. So I'll just simply, I can either duplicate this one or I can create a fresh one. So let me go ahead and save this one as screen padding. Okay. So I'll press control, I mean function and F5 to save us. You press and hold function and F5 and then you'll be able to save us. Or you can as well create a fresh one, eh? fresh file. And then call it screen underscore padding. Okay, do that. So after doing that, let's go ahead and copy this and uh, paste it there. Then we start from there. Okay, so I'm going to change this wording from uh, text screen. I'm going to change it to screen padding okay then after doing that uh, i'll come and uh, and uh, let me enter this scaffold okay i'll come and change the title to padding and then i'll come and remove this content eh? maybe make it text and just say home or padding home Padding home. So once you do it like that, mean that we have created what? A screen for padding. So let me come and let me say padding screen. Eh? So let me come and copy this. Copy uh, this class. And then come back to our main function. So here, I want when someone clicks on it, it should open that what? That padding. Here. When someone clicks on this, I want it to open padding. So I'll do everything that how we've been doing it, but I'll only change here to screen padding. So make sure it is important. Press Alt and Enter. It will be important. Okay. So after doing that, let's go ahead and open this screen. So I'll simply click there, padding layout. So you can see we're in the padding screen. Okay. So let's go to that screen and you see how we can use padding. So I'll simply come to this screen. Okay, so to create padding, you just simply write padding, okay, and then you open bracket and then they pass the values. So as you say that this is a single child layout, so it, it must have uh, a single what? A single layout. So we'll just simply come and say child. So the layout that it takes, it takes the it by the parameter of what? Using the parameter of child. So if it's a single layout, you specify child and you can say and you can pass any widget and say text uh, my widget okay so after that this padding is still complaining why we have not added one more thing call now the padding the size okay so I just simply put so I'll just put padding, just put pass the word padding, okay? pass the parameter padding. And then this padding will take the spaces. In Flutter, when you want to write and specify spaces, you cannot just write 72 or 70 or anything. What you do, you call a class and attach there the padding values that you want to statically call this. So to do that, I'll just simply put uh, what we call edge inset okay so that edge inset will help us to get the constants of uh, of what of the paddings and the spacing so I put dot and then you here we have different things that we can do so dot zero it means that you're setting it to be what to be zero we have dot all this all means it's going to happen to all the sides 
and then we have rb trb that means from uh, left to right to bottom and then we have uh, floating padding and so these are the most important uh, all and only and then rtb so that's important so if i want this uh, padding to happen only on top so i just simply put their padding and then put the top okay so dot only sorry i have to pass dot only and so here when you say dot only okay let us begin with dot all so dot all is going to happen on across everything so here is where i can now pass the number maybe 20. so i can see it has been uh collapsed or it can been brought down because of what because of uh dot all so if you check properly realize that even this side was what was affected so if you want to specify only one point you can just simply say dot only and then specify as uh, uh, dot only and then maybe 20 why is it complaining okay huh so i'll pass here dot only so this only will take uh, four parameters you have to specify one of the parameters one of the four parameters so if you want to specify only the left you can simply say left and then you put colon and then pass it maybe say left 20 so it means that you see left only has been what has been expanded if you want the top just simply put top 20 so you see it has been expanded on what on top so we have ara uh, uh, rbtl that one is also from right to left to center to, to left to top to bottom okay so this one i hope it will also uh, it will have understood how it works the padding insights uh, and then you pass uh, only or all so here if i want part to, to change also the left so i can just put there and say left and then put colon and then we say uh, 10. so what does it mean it means that uh, the left side is going to have the 10. okay so if i save you can see the 10 spaces have been added so that's how we deal with what that's how we deal with padding and uh, you can go ahead and learn more about what about padding in other words it can help you to organize the content to be in what in the right shape we want it to be okay so that's the padding the spacing around the content so you proceed to to say to container uh, so let's go ahead and uh, look into uh, another single child widget which is a container so container uh, is also a very, very serious widget in flutter it's a top level widget and uh, we can configure it by its own parameter or using another parameter called a decoration as it sounds container is just used uh, to contain content so it will contain a single child content and then by that power of container we can do a lot of things uh, on uh, appearance or what you call decoration to change how it should look like the color the the, the shape the border everything most of things not everything but most of things using uh it's what it's a decoration parameter and we pass another object called uh box decoration okay so uh with that information that has been given i've given i've given you let's go ahead and look at what at container and see how we can implement it in your world i mean in a flutter mobile application and in fact this container will use it so 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 much because it is uh, a very core uh, uh layout or widget in what in flutter so let's go ahead and create a container so to create a container what you're going to do you're going to go come back here uh to our main page and then create another another what option called container layout okay so to do that i'll just simply come to our main page there and then our main screen <laughs> and then duplicate this one and then i'm going to call this one what 
container layout and then i'm going to create for it a screen uh, which you're going to call screen container so let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this you're just going to duplicate this one just copy and and paste it copy and paste it in the same space or you can just not that but just uh press control i mean f5 okay shift and f5 then you'll be able to uh, rename okay to duplicate it just press f5 eh? okay or function key and f5 if you're using mac so you'll be able to rename it so i'm going to change this one to a screen container and then i change also the class here okay this one so i have this one screen container i change this one, this class to what uh to screen container screen container okay then after doing that i'm going to change this one from uh, padding okay let me go ahead and send call this one uh container screen screen container oh, it's called container so then let us remove this padding thing and just put the only text and then call that one what screen container this is just for displaying then after let's come and import it here just if it's complaining come and put it here press alt and enter uh, or control and is it alt and enter alt and enter then it will be imported then after you should have something like this okay so let's go ahead and click on it you see i'm going to click on this container that will take us to the what to the container screen so let's go through this screen and we demonstrate container or what container can do so i'll come the screen and then come and put here a uh, container okay so this container must take uh one child okay should take one child so if i save it will not display anything but it can take one child so i can simply put child so this child i can put text and i say uh, this is my container so different uh, uh the difference so you see you can speaking in my video okay uh, so here the difference is no i don't speak too much like you spoiling my whole thing okay so here the difference is you see you have the container but the difference is uh, this container has a lot of parameters that uh, padding does not have even other most of complete most of uh, most of uh, layouts or widgets that they, they don't have for example padding did not have uh, let me press control and click on container press control hold and then click on container you'll be able to see the possible parameters of container so you see we have alignment padding not have that we have padding we have color we have decoration uh, we have foreground we have margin we have um child and then we have uh, transformation so all these ones they can help us to customize uh, the container so among them we have uh, alignment so this alignment of course it will help us, it help us to align the word the container but the most important ones we have what we call color let us first look at the most important ones we begin with color so i'll come back to my container and then come and pass here another parameter called color so i can put colors dot what dot red and then you'll see we'll have that color like that so this container has what we call width okay so if you want to specify its width you can just simply put width and then you can specify its width maybe it's 400 you see it will be 100 if it's maybe 400 pixels you see it will be that 104 pixels it's 500 to be 500 but here uh you may need to specify the width that are not going to go beyond the what beyond the screen so if you want it to spend 100 percent of the screen there are two ways one way is to pass what you call double uh double and then put dot infinite so there it will spend a hundred percent of its screen another way is to enter the exact screen size width so to enter the width of a screen size you just simply use what you call media query and then dot dot what dot um of and then you pass your context and then you put dot size and then don't put with don't put dot with 
by doing like that you'll also get a what it's a width so you can also come here maybe on the text and te say the text color but you know this text color you cannot uh, you, let us remove in, in the text okay uh, you can say okay let's say this text color but you know this text color you cannot set it directly you have to pass the style so that's another challenge that container beats this one eh? uh, so how to put text style and then this text style is where you can put the color and we put colors dot what dot white see the other one is red so by doing like that we'll have that one okay so we can uh, increase this text okay So if you want to auto arrange, press Ctrl and Alt and L. Ctrl Shift and L. Ctrl Shift and L. It will auto arrange your what your code. Ctrl Alt and L, I think, yeah. It will auto arrange your code. Eh? So after doing that, uh, you see that's what we have done. So if you want to, let me add here some size, so it can be a little bit bigger, and maybe 20. Okay, so now this is our container. Now if you want uh, to increase, uh, so we have just added specify the width, and this is how you can specify the width. In case you want to specify it to spend 100%, you can also put a specific number as I showed you. You can as well specify the height of a container, uh, some other views they don't have uh, some other widgets they don't have these abilities okay so what just need to know that you can as well specify the weight of container so that is how we deal with what with the color of the container we just put color and then pass the color of container so let us look at another another parameter so another parameter is padding of course padding is the space between uh, the content inside the container and the margin of that container so let me pass padding so i'll just simply put uh here in the container okay after con in the container uh, layout i pass what we call padding okay so this padding also will take edge insets edge edge insets dot so if we say dot zero it will be padding zero if we put dot all so you're specifying the all all the paddings so if you say maybe 20 30 so every part of this container will have 30 padding 30 pixels padding if you put 20 to be 10 pixel padding if you put dot only then you'll have to specify each so you can say left and then you put maybe 20 so it will be on left maybe and right will be 20 so by doing like that you can specify specific what specific um uh padding so, so you can as well specify maybe top and maybe say that so by doing like that, you'll be able to specify, okay, uh, specific places. Uh, so another one, there is uh, only all and R L G B R L left, is it L T? I don't know. <laughs> okay, just go here and press dot. You'll see it's called uh, L O T R B. That one will can specify left, top, right, and bottom, respectively. So that's it. Okay. So that's how we do with padding. So this padding you can use it to do anything. Okay. So you can put maybe bottom and maybe say 20. So that's how we deal with padding. So now you can proceed if you want to specify all, just put dot all. And maybe put 30. So everything will have that. So we proceed to other inputs of container. Another one we have color. We have looked at it. We have um, a decoration. So this decoration is very very important. Eh? It's very important. We use it to uh, to design how the container should look like. So we'll have a special day for decoration. So pass decoration and put here the colon. Okay, colon. Just pass decoration and then put colon. So I have what you call uh, uh box decoration which has many properties such as color border and the rest okay 
so this container can accept this word can accept this box decoration so if you want to specify the box decoration just simply put there i mean decoration and then put box decoration just type like this box decoration okay so in this box decoration we have uh, in case we want to specify the shadow and the rest so just press control and click on it you'll see different parameters of box decoration we have the border and uh, we have the image we have the color we have the radius let us look at this border radius so we can specify radius uh, so we have to pass radius border radius so this one will take um border radius geometry dot check border radius dot all and then you can pass maybe 20 i mean uh, all dot all put radius that circular and pass maybe 20 so oh some error let me first fix this okay so so i got here an error here an error so the reason that causes that error once you you specify the decoration you're not specify the you're not supposed to specify um uh, the color as a parent attribute otherwise you'll get this error okay so you have to remove this color from the parent attribute and if you're to well, if you want to put the color then you have to put that color with the what in the decoration output otherwise you'll get that same error so i hope you get it <laughs> otherwise you can add also what you call margin here so margin the space between uh, the container and the parent layout padding is the space between the the parent layout and the content inside the parent layout and then margin the space between the the, 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 the layout and its parent layout hope you get the difference so also margin you can also pass edge inset dot all and then also specify the margin so by doing like that you see i've got the margin so i've got i've created something beautiful like that so this is called a border radius and then you can put your border radius dot all so you can as well specify a specific radius by putting border radius dot what dot only so if you say dot only then it means that you have to specify uh the, the the location so we have here bottom left bottom right bottom top and bottom uh bottom uh, bottom left bottom right top left and top right so if one specify only bottom left so do like that bottom left and then you give this uh, margin so you see only this side has been uh, given that so put maybe 40 so you can see this only this one that has what that has the radius so if you put here comma you can go ahead and specify also maybe but i mean top right top right and then you put also radius dot a uh, circular so you have elliptical and circular okay so elliptical it will take uh, two values eh? and so it will be that kind of an oval can you see that that kind of an oval so put your 50 50 it will also be like uh, the normal one so like the normal radius so if you put a uh, circular so elliptical is something that you want to make kind of i mean kind of an oval so if i put circular i'll have to pass only what one parameter so i put like this still i get the same result so you can do something beautiful like that with that simplicity go ahead and keep on playing with these um radius uh, parameters so let's look at another decoration thing so another decoration just press here control and click on box decoration we have a uh, image that will take the background image have border so this border is the one that takes the the border okay of course the border so let's go ahead and look at the border so if you want to pass the border and okay you want to pass the border so just put the border to so press your control see it takes what you will take what you call box border so put box border dot put here maybe border dot all 
so here dot all can pass maybe 10 sorry dot all then what you have to pass you have to pass the color the width and the style so if you say color maybe you can say uh, color colors dot blue okay dot black okay and then you put um width of course this one will be just a figure um an integer or a double and then you put dot style okay so dot style to see what it will take uh press control and click on it it will take border style okay so you have your border style dot eh? so you have dot solid and then dot none okay so you put dot solid it's going to be solid style so you see you have that kind of border can you see it's beautiful so let me do the opposite so let me come here and change the text color to red and then um, the background color to white so if i save you see i have something beautiful like that one so you do it to just simply start that so that border color you can even reduce its size and make it maybe five and even make it one and then you have that small uh line that you can see there so you can keep on playing with this border color background color the radius and you can come up with better and more beautiful what user interfaces so let us go ahead and look at again what uh, also the decoration takes takes um just press control and hold and then you'll see what it takes border radius border radius uh we have already looked at that uh, box shadow so this one in case one put a shadow let's look at that i've never used it but let us try it okay so box shadow of course just pass here box shadow put colon and then put comma uh -huh. so let us see what box shadow take uh put a shadow okay let's press control and click on it okay this one is a child of of box decoration press control it takes box shadow it takes a list of box shadow uh, i've never used it but uh that one will implement a what a shadow on uh, this layout so that's much about uh, the container you can go ahead and play with multiple uh parameters that you may need to pass into the container okay so go ahead and play with it until you do what until uh, you perfect it and or until you come up with better what better design just use these parameters that i've shown you still you can come up with better design so that makes the container very crucial uh user interface or um layout that will need in flutter you can put an image inside there and then you also design around it like this we're using this what using this container so we can proceed to uh to what uh, to the center widget okay so this center widget is used to align content of elements to what to the center okay so if you want to implement the center widget uh let me show you assume that uh, we have only this short line and you want to center it you see it's not centered it's not centered so if you want to center it you can as well use the center widget of course this one has alignment if you still remember but if you want to center this content you can use the center widget so it's another thing that in case you want to surround this item with a widget click on it and then click on this yellow uh, icon okay bulb icon click on it and then you will see different th widgets that are already prepared for you so you see there is center so if i click there they'll uh, surround that one with what with center okay so instead of me cutting it and edit and then right center by myself i can as well just click on it and then click on this item i can see other widgets that i can surround with so when i click save you see that element has been what has been centered and this one is spending 100 percent of what of the screen so it's beautiful so that's what the center does okay so we can proceed the center does nothing but just centering what centering the content in the parent layer that contains them so let us proceed to to what uh to multiple child widgets or widgets which have multiple children now let's look at um multiple 
children multiple child widgets okay so multiple child widget these are widgets that will have more than one child as we said so in case you want to organize things that are going to have more than one widget or things that you want to put together that are more than one widget then you need a layout that can support that which you call multiple child widget so among the layouts that we have we have one called row another one called column another one called list view another one called uh, grid another one called grid view another one this one we don't always even use it that much but it allows us to arrange things in form of grid another one called expand another one called the table a uh, flow and stack so these are the column i mean these are the multiple children widgets that we may need uh, when we're doing what when we're doing applications so let's go ahead and look at the row widget so to do that i will come to my application and uh, this is the home page so i'm going to create another screen that i'm going to use to demonstrate the row so to do that i'll just simply come to to my screens here i'm going to duplicate this one eh? oh i can okay i'm going to duplicate this one so to duplicate just press um function and f5 or you just press f5 function then you'll be able to get this pop-up that can allow you to duplicate this link or you can straight as well create a fresh what a fresh file so i'm going to call this one what i'm going to call it a screen row so here in screen row i'm going to create here a class screen row and then I'll change the title to screen row and then maybe remove this body and remove this body and put just a simple text and I call it row screen row. so after doing that let's go ahead and add it this on uh, our home page or our main page so i'll come here to our main hope it's there and then i'm going to duplicate this one uh, i know i'm going to duplicate this one this list view this list view duplicate it and then if you want your things to be organized just press ctrl alt and l ctrl alt l then your code will be organized so i'm going to call this one um, row layout okay so row layout and this is going to take us to the screen of screen row okay press alt and enter to import this guy okay so ah uh, we have it there so let me go ahead and uh, save and then open this screen row this we have it here and then also have it here so if i go ahead and click here see we have a screen row so how the screen row works as it sounds it helps us to organize things in form of what in form of columns or one next to the other so let me show you how it can work i'm going to create here uh okay now i'm going to remove this one and create a screen row i mean I create a row okay so to create a row you just simply say row and then open bracket as we say this row will take ch uh, more than one child so it will take children okay so I just simply write children so as you can see it is an array it's going to take multiple what multiple children as you can see there okay so here i can put um maybe a single text and call this one one and then uh, uh, duplicate it call this one two duplicate it call this one three so if i save you can see i have these things they are in different text but they are organized in form of a row one two three all of them in form of a row so let me go ahead and remove so you see i can put there as many widgets as possible the one that i want i just separate them with what with comma let me just put there some container so i'm just saying container so you can see container and we're going to set its container its width i say to 100 and its height i set it to what 200 and maybe give its color colors dot maybe black so if i do like that you see i'll have that simple one let me make it 50 50 okay so that's our first container so if i want to add another container in the same row okay i just come and put here a comma and i can be able to add another container it can be a container it can be another widget it can be even text 
so if i come here and do like this i see and change on maybe to red i'll have that container of red and then come and duplicate this one and change this one to what uh to yellow so you can have black yellow red okay so i'll have their what i'll have their yellow so it's beautiful and you can see can we are able to organize things in what in form of rows okay we are able to organize things in form of rows so they can be as many as you want oh uh, in case you want to design things that are, we want them to be organized in form of rows that's what it takes and that's what you do but otherwise if you didn't know how to use rows then you couldn't be able to know how to organize things in form of what in form of a row so that's all about row now this row can take also somewhat some parameters among the parameters that can take just please click on row it is there these ones it can take what you call main axis alignment okay main axis alignment how much if you move there your mouse you can see there uh, how my main main axis alignment just move your mouse there and you see what they talk about uh horizontal creates okay creates a horizontal array of children uh-huh the maximum whatever and this one if the constraint then the text base okay it comes to nala so this one will help us to organize this what this um uh they, they, they help us to align these uh elements in a what in a row so let us go ahead and see how we can play with them so this was the first one's called main axis size not main axis size uh, main axis alignment is the one that is very important okay uh -huh, so we're going to come here and put main axis alignment okay main axis alignment so this one will take another parameter called main axis alignment but it starts with the what with the capital it so if we click on dot you can see other possible things so the first thing is space evenly so if you click on space even i mean if you enter space even as main axis this content will be saved in what with space you see there is an equal space here another equal space here another equal space here and another equal space here so that's what you call space evenly you can as well space them in another type which one called center so if you do like this the whole content will be together but centered so if you change this one like um start it will be at the start of the what of the row if you come and change this one and make it uh, end okay okay between so every this content will start and then to make sure that it also reaches the what which is the end so this one is different from a uh, space between space between was i mean sorry this one is different from uh, a line i mean space evenly space evenly it was having uh, a space at the beginning and another space in the middle and another space at the end so it was they were spaced evenly but here it is space between and make sure that the first element is at the margin and the last element the margin and then the space is equally spaced uh separated between the what the content so uh, if i go there for space evenly space around uh, space around it will uh, also make sure that uh, the space is between the end you see this space is equivalent to this one but divided by two that's called space around and then we have end so end it will make sure that it is every all the old content the other words at the end of uh, the row so basically that's the knowledge that you all need about what about rows otherwise uh, you can go ahead and look at other properties text decoration of already covered this one and then you also play with what play with them so what you should know a row will always take a list of children and it will take them in what in this format and then a container for it of course takes one child because the single uh widget says single single child what single child widget so let us proceed to what you call a column a column is exactly like a row but the only difference is it uh, the only difference is uh, for it to organize things in what in form of rows okay or in form of what in form of column so this rows it is organizing things in form of row 
the column will organize elements in form of what in form of property also does almost the same work so let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate that so to do that i'll just simply come to my home and i'm going to create another item and i'm going to call it what column okay so i'm going to create another screen called screen column just going to duplicate this screen of rows this screen of rows press function 5 and then i'm going to call it screen of column okay so after doing that i'm going to change this one to screen column Okay, so after doing that, uh, we're going to use just the same examples, just like I told you, a yeah, screen column is like uh, a row. I mean, the, 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 the screen is, I mean, the, the column is like uh, a row. First, import this guy. Oh, we named it properly, we did not name it properly. It was supposed to be screen or what? Screen through columns. Strict stroke columns. We did the spell, correct spelling. Screen. Let us get a copy it from here as it is. Screen column. It is there. Screen column. Change this one. Screen column should now be resolved. Okay, so after doing that, let's go ahead and open it. So I just simply come back here and click on a column. So when I click on column, I still get the what the row, of course, because I've not worked on the logic of uh, changing this row to what to column. So to change this row to column, it is just exactly the same thing, uh, but the only difference is. Uh, we are going to change the what the header element so i mean the the, the main element so here it is a screen row you can see now let us go ahead and uh, change it what to row but when you create a column you can as well create it from what from scratch so to change uh, this row i mean this column to row what you'll do we we'll just simply come here and change this row you see where there's row just change that one to what to column column and then it will do the same thing but organized in form of what in form of a row so you can see 